Alright guys, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create the pin slider block from activity 1.3.2 on Inventor. You should also have access to the pin slider block multi-view drawing so you can see all of the measurements, dimensions, and whole notes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and click New and Standard. I'm going to start a new sketch on the top plane. I'm going to go ahead and create a two point rectangle. It's going to be 1.75 in length and 0.734 in width. So I'm going to go ahead and place it here. So the width is 0 0.734, 0 0.734. I'm going to press tab and then 1.75 in width. So there's my rectangle. I want to go ahead and finish it. I want to go ahead and extrude it by 0.375. I can just change this number here. 0.375. Press enter. So now I'm going to chamfer the four edges by 0.125. So I'm going to select the chamfer command. And then I'm going to select the four edges. You're going to have to rotate your uh, figure. And then once I have all four selected, make sure that it's set. The distance is set to 0.125 and then I'm going to press OK. Then I'm going to press home. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and place a new sketch on this top face. So I'm going to right click and say new sketch. Okay. So I'm going to rotate my figure here. I'm going to select a, a two point center rectangle. I'm going to find the center here by the green dot. There we go. Okay. I'm going to place my rectangle on the edges and then I'm going to press escape. So we're, we're just going to add one dimension here. Now we can actually move our rectangle, right? If you make it bigger, maybe you can move it, maybe you can't, but make sure it touches the edges. Okay, later on, we'll try to move it. So let's go ahead and dimension one of the sides. And we're going to add 0.452. Point four five two. Okay. Now this one again. I'm gonna press Escape to get out of that command, and now I'm able to move my rectangle. There we go. So that works. That is good. Maybe a little bit higher. Okay, that is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my sketch, and then I'm gonna extrude again by 0.438 so i'm going to change the number here to 0.438 then i'm going to press enter and then again i'm going to repeat the process so i'm going to chamfer the four edges by 0.125 so i'm going to select the four edges one two three and i'm going to have to zoom out here and then this is set to 0.125 so I'm going to press OK and then I'm going to click my home view so now we have to add a fillet to these two long edges by 0.25 so I'm going to select the fillet command and I'm going to select the two long edges here I'm going to add, I'm going to change the number, the distance to 0.25, and then I'm going to press enter. All right, so the last thing that we need is to create our hole. Let's just go ahead and get a better view of this. Again, I selected the top view, and I just kind of zoomed in a little bit. So I'm going to use the hole command. I want my hole to be here in the center around the center so now if you look at your 
multi-view drawing, you have the whole notes there, right? So the whole notes say, hey, this hole has a diameter of 0.165. It's a through hole. It's a counterbore. It has a counterbore. The diameter of the counterbore is 0.177 and the depth of the counterbore is 0.633. So let's go ahead and start at the bottom, right? The diameter of the hole is 0.165, so that's already there. It is a through hole, that's already selected. It has a counter bore, so make sure you select counter bore. The diameter of the counter bore is 0.177, so make sure that is entered. The depth of the counter bore is 0.63, so again, mine is already set at 0.63. So again, make sure you set yours at 0.63. And after you finish, you're gonna select OK. And there you go. So now you have your pin slider block for activity 1.3.2. So now all that you need to do is, again, remember to select the text, and then you can add your text to your drawing. And again, once you add your name, make sure that you also save it. Okay, it's very important that you click save or that you click file save as. Okay, you can just press okay. And then you can give it a name. 1.3.2 pen slider block. You can press save. All right, and then now you can go ahead and take your full window screenshot by pressing Windows Shift S if you are on a PC. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.